Hello everyone, Vito the Filthy back here with another deck review. This is a new edition of the Vintage Plaid cards from Dan and Dave. I'm going to call it a second edition because it is. Only available in the one color at the moment, but I would not be surprised if they did the other color at some point in time. Especially with the way they charge, and how much they charge for shipping. It's an easy way for them to rake in a few extra bucks. <laughs> anyway, the front. It says US regulation in a red and plain cards and an embossed gold foil. You got all four pips with gold circles, gold foil circles. And it says DDPCC at the bottom. It's almost a tongue twister. DDP! Uh, DDPCC! <laughs> Say that fast ten times. The tongue case has this in texture to it. It looks like a lever texture. On the side it says a DD point card company, Los Angeles, California. The other side, fine point cards for gentlemen. And number one, top says plaid number one. The bottom, Dan and Dave, and this fancy logo with a barcode and information. The back, you see the back design, it says made in USA on the bottom. Slight embossing on that, I guess. And the seal is a stamp type seal. Kind of a bit of dirtiness to it, it looks like. It says Dan and Dave on top. California on one side. Los Santos on the other. Down here it says Industries and 84, which is 1984, the year of their birth. And it says Manufacturers of Point Guards D&D. &D. The flap, it says Bad Luck is Bad Play. See that texture again. And then the inside, there's nothing on the other flaps. But inside you get that whole vintage plaid color. And you can see some of the embossing. So first of all, I get a card that says Mint Julep. And what the heck is Mint Julep? It is some kind of a tonic, a drink. Apparently, it's a cure-all tonic. <laughs> um, and on the other side, you get the recipe of how to make it. You need fresh baby mint, a sugar cube, simple syrup, bourbon, and crust ice. Have fun with that. Don't drink too much. Drink responsibly. <laughs> you also get an ad card that says Art Play. No one to hold them. No. No when to hold them. No when to fold them. No when to walk away. And no when to run. <laughs> and it says fine point cards. Artplay.com. And the back design, borderless. Probably not scented perfectly. Thanks to USB C, but it's not bad. But Jokers, I think these are different from the previous one, but I don't really remember. It says Joker, you see a deer. It says Autocolius. Virginianus, which is a, I guess, scientific name for white-tailed deer. But the other one is a bird, a falcon, it says Joker, and it says Falco Peregrinus, which is a scientific name for a falcon, I forget what kind. The ace is definitely different, I think it's different, it says Dan and Dave, original purveyors of quality playing cards, trusted and true, made in USA. Nice spade pick, kind of vintage looking. Um, I don't think that they're the original purveyors of quality playing cards. I would have thought that at least it's just like the originals. But whatever. Number cards, quote cards, or basically standard. Nice custom index. Uh, bold index. Very easy to read. I like it. And that is that. Oh, and there is a bit of a color to the faces, like if I were to show you. They are not. This is a terrible thing to show you. Um, they are not white. They're a little bit off-white. So anyways, basically standard but custom index. I like it. So let's get on with it. The back design, simple, vintage. Inspired, it's a, there's vintage decks out there that have the same back design, and it is different than the blue one just a bit. Oh, I think it's soy meter, that's a one way. Oh, maybe I saw it wrong, but anyways, it's very nice, simple, borderless pattern. I'll say four and three quarters out of five. I like it, even though it's not custom or anything. Faces, I like the indexes they use, they're different than the standard. 
and they make them nice and easy to read. Standard court cards and number cards, not a big deal. I like the Ace and the Jokers for the most part. I'd probably say, and there is some recalling I see kind of green in there, so there's some recalling on the court cards. I would say four and a half out of five, perhaps. Now, the stock in the Fantasy Series card is interesting. It's Ericus and Finis and Mabas Finis, but the stock is very thin and snappy. Just like the original ones, I don't know. It's a custom stock, it's not a USB C stock, it's not aristocrat, it's not um, a bicycle stock, it's thinner than that. It's very thin, very uh, snappy, but I like it. Handles pretty good, I would probably say 5 out of 5. <laughs> Overall, good solid deck. It's usable for obviously cardistry or magic. It's what it's designed for. It can be used for poker, whatever you want. Um, I would say overall four and three quarters out of five. I like it. Maybe even four and a half out of five if that's too high. I don't know. I, I never know. I just kind of throw out a number. I think that's pretty good though. I like it. That is that. You can get it at danandave.com. Probably autoplay.com as well since, well, they're on the ad card. Uh, don't forget to check out my sponsors, collectiblepointcards.com, pointcards.net, and cardporn.com. No, it's not a hardcore porn website, it's a card website. I had links to discount codes down below. Save yourself some money, help out the channel. That is that. See you next time. Thanks for watching.